underway in the Texas Tri-Hull Division. The 42 of Wyatt Zeller going 3-4-5. What's going to happen here in this 20 lap main event? The 17 and Neil Lark. Oh no, it looks like we lost the two buoy down there, Devin Brown. The 99 of Devin Brown somehow gets hooked between the buoys, spins all the way around, and puts the buoys back where he found it. First time I've ever seen that, ladies and gentlemen. Number one of the, of the 17 of Neil Marsh puts it way up on his tail, showing the bottom bow of that tri hall getting all types of squirrely, pushing it to the limit, trying to bring home his first checkered flag in the Texas tri hall class. Ladies and gentlemen, taking his first victory in Texas Tri Hall, your champion at the 2022 Thunder on the Netches in the Texas Tri Hall Division, number 17, Neil Marge. Up the gun there a little bit, but he paid the penalty for it as he had to refire the motor on that APX 200 V6 four stroke Mercury, and he is fired as they go down into turns one and two. Look at that gap as they get down to the corner. That tells me he's got a lot more top end. As he goes into four, Mayo is already coming out of four. He has closed this thing down to six or seven boat lengths. It was almost up to a half a lap just a few laps ago. The young man out of Richmond is driving that thing like he absolutely stole it. And the Tenetary Rinker has got an earful from his crew chief telling him, you've got to push that thing to the limit. The young kid from Richmond is coming, and he's coming hard. We've got four boats fighting for the final spot on the podium between the 20 of Ashton Rinker, the 52 of Chris Rinker, the 24 of Spencer Love, the 17 of Dylan Anderson, who will merge victorious and end up bringing some hardware back home to their race shop here at the after the opening round of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the checkered flag, your champion at the opening round of 2022, the number 10 of Terry Rinker. We are doing a two flag start for this because there are so many boats and the second flag has dropped. It's trying to get around him right now is Jimmy Durr. So Jeremiah Mayo goes into that third spot. Great overhead view right now as we see them running down that front stretch into the turn number two for the first time. There is Something a lot. Something happens and they have a restart so that you've got a better opportunity to come back in this race. Anderson was able to tuck on the inside of RJ West. RJ West out in lane two, followed by Quindazzi in the double sevens. Here comes Drew Jasper in the 70. Spencer Love, your leader. Clever construction is his business and he's out here and he's running the show right here. To the Wake the Lake six for our final for F1. The clock reads 15 minutes into this 17 minute final. Still a great race for first and second, and we just about lost Jimmy Kerr as he went through the rooster tail <laughs> Spencer Love. He brought the nose back down, lost a little bit of time on that maneuver, but our race is still for first, second, and third as they are closely bunched together. Put your hands together, Formula One Racing Champion here in the sixth annual race in Springfield, Spencer Love, With followed by Jimmy Kerr. The 14 of Peterson as well as the 17 of Hughes as they go through the middle of the course. They're gonna go down through the middle of the course, down to the far end, around the south end through turns three and four, and they will start their first lap. Oh, look out there, Tyler Peterson almost blows it over. Oh my lord, how did he keep it upright? He's tracking down the man out in front. He's won every time he's been on the water in 2022 here in the form of the one power of champion. Taking the checkered flag here in the Formula Lights final. Mark Schmierbach. It's the Tenacherry Rinker trying to bring some hardware back to Houston. Here it is, hometown race. Gets a look at the battle we got going on for first. That's 
Number 13 of Brand Schubert on the outside. The number 10 of Scary Jerry Rinker out in front. But it's a battle right now. The 13 of Schubert now out in front. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have a new leader as he crosses the start finish line. Yes, sir. The 13 of Brand Schubert is now your leader here in the Texas Tri-Hall Division with the 10 of Jerry Rinker in second. The local favorite, the young gun out of Richmond, Texas. Your champion in the Texas Tri-Hall Division, number 13, Brand Schubert. Great jump there by the 52, the Chris, the real deal, Rinker, as well as the 94 of Rusty Wyatt. They get through those commitment moves. Now they make their turn across. There's the 24 of Spencer Love. Oh, no, the 03 of Terry picked up a buoy. So frustrating for the young man out of Thibodeau, Louisiana. He was sitting in third. He's now fallen all the way back to sixth position with that buoy obstructing his view on the middle to the fourth of that Hoffman over construction machine with the APX on the back up on the podium, but he's got to watch out because Chris Rinker sitting in third in points coming in. Oh, look at him blow by the 94 of Wyatt. What happened there? The 17 of Dylan Anderson found an extra gear, and he just blew by the 94 of Rusty Wyatt up into second position. It looks like we got a boat over somewhere down in the south end of the course. What happened down there? Was that our leader? The 52 of Chris Rinker has gone over down at the south end of the course, ladies and gentlemen. Our leader with half a straightaway lead over the rest of the field. The 52 of Chris Rinker barrel rolls down in turn number three. 17 of Dylan Anderson continuing to push hard. He's way out in front, almost a full straightaway lead over the second place vote. Ladies and gentlemen, your inaugural champion here at the Battle of the San Jacinto out of Nashville, Tennessee, number 17, Dylan Anderson. somehow save it. The 10 of Williams and the 14 of Peterson almost blow it over. Side by side, coming in the commitment to and somehow they both landed it upright. What an amazing turn of events. The 14 of Tyler Peterson way out in front of the 35 of Mark Spearbach. I don't know if anybody's going to catch this young man. For the first time in history, a Danish built Bola Guard form before wins in Formula Light. And the first time winner, Tyler. Peterson. Air goes to tail. Now Schubert goes down to the inside. We got to move here. Will the 13 of Schubert be able to hold him off? He gets down, goes into the inside, and he does it. Able to get by the now playing a little game of cat and Oh, boom! He hammers the 17 of Mars. Says, get out of my way, dude. Your champion in Texas Tri Hall out of Richmond, Texas. Number 13, Grant Schubert. He drops the flag and they come roaring off the beach. Rough jump there by the old three hanger, 24 of Dustin Terry, but a great jump by the third. Oh no, the 17 of Dylan Anderson goes dead in the water. Our leader goes dead in the water on the second lap of the main event and his season is ruined. To push that APX, 204 strokes for the machine to the limit. Oh no, he spins out down in turn number one. Oh no, Dustin Terry, your champion of the 2022 Anderson Toyota Lake Havasu Classic, number 94, Rusty Wyatt. Your Formula One Series champion, number 24, Spencer Love. 